Hey, I'm with my cousins. These are my cousins. Look at my cousins. <laughs> it is a well-known fact in my family that I can sew, so I am often asked to do sewing things. I have two cousins who wanted princess-inspired party dresses slash costumes for an upcoming birthday photo shoot. One wanted a Belle dress and one wanted a Cinderella dress. Let's start with Belle because it was her birthday photo shoot. The other one was just coming along for the ride. Um, after I bought all of the fabric, she changed her mind. She originally said she wanted a Belle ball gown and she changed it to a Belle party dress, which wasn't the end of the world. I can work with that. It's less work for me. After cutting out all of the bodice pieces, I sewed channels into the lining and then sewed the lining to the outer fabric and then added the boning. And then I just stopped for like a month. I didn't sew. I just couldn't get into it. But I had a deadline. I had to get these done. So I made a pair of sewing shorts and I put those sewing shorts on and I got back to work. For the bell dress, I was really towing the line between a costume piece and a wearable article of clothing as my cousin had expressed interest in wearing this to an upcoming school dance. I didn't want her to look too out of place in her dress, so I went with simpler is better and the idea of bell was kind of um, implied. I hand stitched the sleeves to the bodice and then went to work on making a circle skirt. My cousin claimed she wanted a very fluffy, poofy skirt, but I didn't believe her and I'm glad I didn't because even the circle skirt, when she first tried it on, she thought was too much, it was too fluffy. So I'm glad I went with my gut and I didn't go with the super fluffy route and just made it have moderate poof. To obtain that poof, I added about three layers of soft tulle to the lining of the skirt. And because I don't think things through, I didn't measure the tulle before I sewed it on. So I ended up wasting a bunch, cutting it all off to the length that my cousin wanted. This right here gives you an idea of what the dress is gonna look like overall. It's just missing a couple of little bobs and ends. Um, so this is the part where I ended up wasting a bunch of fabric because I originally thought I was going to create an overlay that did all that cool ruching like the original bell dress does and it was gonna be nice and fluffy on the outside, but it looked horrible. It looked disgusting and the tulle didn't lay right and the chiffon didn't lay right. I don't know what I was thinking. So I had to make a rush trip over to the fabric store to buy more fabric and figure out how I was gonna salvage this. It ended up working out for the best because again, I had originally said simpler is better. So I just created an overlay of the gold tool and left it like that. I didn't add anything else. It was just again, gonna be a nice, bell inspired party dress. Tool has a habit of deflating, so for extra security, I added horsehair braid to the hem of the dress. Here it is on my dress form, and I was so proud of myself. Um, but here's the problem. I was relying on the measurements that her mom had given me, and I don't think she's measured her daughter in a while because when she tried it on, we learned together that it was too small. And by then, I was really frustrated, so I gave up on this dress for a little while and moved on to the next one. The Cinderella dress was both easier and harder. I had two dresses to work with because one dress was too big for her and one dress was too small for her. And both dresses she didn't like. So I completely ripped apart both dresses and used the materials to stuff them all together into one fluffier dress. Now I say it was a little bit harder because I didn't have a pattern to work with. I only had pattern pieces. And so what I was doing was taking apart this dress and studying how the pieces fit together before cutting out new pattern pieces and trying to put them back together the way I had seen them on the original. I switched out the cheap satin on the bodice for a nice sparkle cotton and then used some of the glitter tool from the skirt as an overlay to give the whole bodice a nice shine without it looking too gaudy and making the dress more cohesive overall. I sewed the two skirts together and then added a layer of iridescent organza, I think, 
before putting the sparkle tool back over everything and sewing it all together. And then I just used the sleeves from one of the original dresses and tacked that on. And then it was time for the photo shoot. We had a lot of fun. We twirled, we ate the props, and I was there too, kind of. All that matters is that they were really happy with their dresses and I was done with the dresses. And I think I don't want to sew for other people for a while. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see y'all later. Bye!